it's the way exhibition goes, though. Obviously, there's a lot of new faces, new systems for a lot of guys, and um, you know, I think there's you know everyone's putting in so much effort trying to you know make an impression and whatnot that you kind of you know, forget what plays you, you really want to make and stuff like that. So it's a little sloppy, but you know, obviously, we have a lot of skill, a lot of good players in this team, and all work hard too, so we're able to pull it out. What has been Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, like I said, it's just it's a little sloppy just because we haven't been able to go over too many things. Um, you know, you kind of rifle through all the systems in training camp because there's so many bodies and all that stuff. So we didn't get too much time to focus on it. But obviously, we got a long week, not playing until Saturday. So we'll, we'll be able to uh, work on some stuff. But uh, the positive will be the, the work ethic and just seeing how much skill we actually have. And we definitely have a better skating team this year. So uh, we should gel pretty well. Thanks. Notice tonight you had the uh, A on your patch, or the A patch on your, on your chest. Uh, what, does that, what does that mean to wear that in the preseason? Uh, it means a lot. You know, older player now coming uh, coming back from my fourth season here, and I'm uh, coaches want me to be uh, more of a leadership role, uh, going to young guys. And I think, uh, I think over the years I've, I've earned it, and it's a it's a nice treat to have. And I think I'm gonna wear it well this year. What does it mean to you to be a Thomas player on this team and to be a you know a leader? And, you know, blue. Uh, it means a lot. You know, you see, you see the history up in the Raptors. You see all the ex combo players here in town. You know, it's uh, there's a lot of people here in the town. They a lot of people love this this team. And the we, reason we come back, you know, to wear an A for this for this jersey for this team is uh, means a lot for me. And um, what are what are some of the positives that you take away from the final preseason game and the first first two? You know, we uh, going two and one was huge. You know, uh, wins are always always helpful. And you see, there's a lot a lot of good players here and uh, a lot of good competition. So it made everyone uh, have a better camp. And I think uh, we're gonna have a good team going in the first game. What are some of the things that you think the team should work on going going into Saturday? Uh, just we I think with the talent, the skill levels there. It's just it's just the chemistry, and that comes with time. You know, when we've been together for a week. We have guys coming down. We got guys coming in. So you know, we get a week together. You know, have some fun. Maybe do some team bonding stuff during the week, and uh, just get to know each other. And once you get on the ice, the chemistry it should uh, should pan out well for us. Well, you know, you still see some some bad habits and things that both coaching staffs, obviously on both sides, um, you know, want to want to get corrected. Um, I think if you ask Nick and you know, I know Ben and I feel the same way. Um, I thought it was a good game. You know, I thought both teams competed hard for an exhibition game on a Monday night. Um, you know, you get older guys in both lineups; they, they just want to get looking forward to the regular season. So you always wonder what you're going to get. Um, you know, out of your group. You know, there's still some good, healthy competition. Obviously, in our locker room for jobs. So um, it's most difficult time will be tomorrow morning when we're going to have to let go of some guys. Um, and a couple new bodies that are going to be coming in. You know, we're just going to have to make some room. So. Uh, but again, I, I thought, you know, we started doing some things that we try to practice those three days in practice. You started seeing them come out a little bit more uh, tonight. Uh, we're still very porous on the back check. Um, gave up way too many odd man rushes. But I thought, uh, you know, the penalty kill looked, looked good. There's some really positive things. I thought we were a lot better on the faceoffs tonight. We wanted to get better in that department. Um, Indianapolis took us to school on Saturday night in that department. Tonight we were way better. We had, uh, you know, one goal off a draw. I think, you know, another opportunity off of a faceoff, too, that we had tonight. So we did a better, better job in that department. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with training camp. I'm glad it's over, and I'm glad we can start, you know, looking forward to, uh, to opening night. It seemed like you got better as the game went along. And yeah. And, and, you know, that's what you want to see, right? You know, because um, that's obviously, guys, that's when their conditioning kicks in and probably what they did during the summertime starts paying off. So, um, you know, we even went down. We had 11 forwards in the lineup tonight. They were rolling 12 forwards. Um, Garrett Thompson, when he made that nice play to Zid, he actually left the game. So we were down to 10 forwards there the last uh, like eight minutes or nine minutes or something like that. And um, so, you know, I thought guys got some good reps. You know, um, some guys were – Huffing and puffing a little bit, which is good. You know, again, that's what exhibition's for is to try to get the, the game legs back. Um, but again, you know, we'll give the guys uh, uh, an optional gym day tomorrow. We'll, we'll come on the ice uh, uh, with some guys, but it's going to be an optional gym day tomorrow, and then we'll be back at it on Wednesday. These new rules or the new emphasis on the face offs and the flashing, how much have you yeah. guys talked about that? Well, we've talked about it. You know, it was at our training camp meeting. The guys know, I mean, we're watching the NHL games and we see. You know how they're they're calling it. Um, I like the fact that the referees haven't really been overly involved in exhibition. We've had three exhibition games now. I think the all, you know, all three refs that we've had have done a really good job of establishing a precedent. Um, you know, letting some things uh, go, but you know the, the blatant things. I think the things that affect the play of the game they've been calling. So um, I, I like the way the refs called it in exhibition. I think it's a, a clean way of calling it. It's the way it should be. How about? Um 
so you guys, you guys have been pretty disciplined with this. I mean, you haven't gotten yeah. called in the faceoff thing at all, have you? Yeah, you know, we've we've gotten called for a couple of slashes. Um, you know, that definitely, you know, we took some uh, that we deserved um, that were okay. very obvious and. You know, we got away with a couple tonight, too, I thought that could have been called with the new rules. So I think that's just a work in progress. You know, I think uh, uh, they probably got away with a couple, too. So, I mean, it's, well, it's going to be it's something. Well, it's defenseman. I mean, you've been doing it your whole life. And you've yeah. been taught to attack the hand. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. something that, again, it's, you know, you got to use your feet, and that's what that game wants. They want you to have to skate and move and have to defend by moving uh, your legs, and, and that makes it a speed game, right? So that's what the NHL wants, uh, which is, you know, obviously it trickles all down. So... Um, I, I like the new rule changes. I, I do. I think now that the way they're calling, I thought they were a little bit too over the top early on in NHL preseason, but now they've kind of got to settle down where um, I can see what they're trying to do. And you see the injuries last year in the NHL, why they implemented it with some of the gross, nasty you know, hand injuries and stuff that took guys out. So you see why they're trying to, to, to enforce it. So um, as long as they're consistent, that's all we can ask. Is that part of the reason you guys wanted a more mobile defense so that they could? Or is that not? Okay, okay. No. Okay. We just need to be more mobile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's a good question. Yeah, you know, just, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't know. How, it it how does how play it in. It does play in, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for the safety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, hey, we're on this together, okay? <laughs> so the final final preseason game, what are some of the positives that you take away from all three of the games? Well, you know, every game that had kind of a, a sticking up for one another element. You know, tonight you see the hit against Garrett Thompson and, and Baptista, who's always a heart and soul guy for us, you know, gets in there right away. You know, that's the, you know, it happened the other night with, uh, with Babs and Crunk and those guys. And, you know, when you can start developing that camaraderie, it, there's a lot of new faces in that locker room. So, I mean, when guys can start backing each other up and, and knowing guys are out there on the same page and you're willing to do something for the guy to the left and the right of you in that locker room, that's that's contagious stuff. That's stuff that coaching staffs we can't we just can't manufacture that. You know, you either have it or you don't. So I think that's probably the thing I, I enjoyed the most about this group was watching them kind of sacrifice one another in, in in exhibition. You don't typically see that a lot. You can see it on the bench too. Yeah. You said he went out. Was did he go out for that? Hit? Who Thompson? Thompson? No, no. That was uh, when he made when he made the play to Zidlowski on that goal when Zid scored. I guess the. The puck or a stick rolled up and got him in the chin or something like that. So, um, I know that uh, Cody Stoll has the ultimate special. Logo. Yeah, that's obviously new this year, right? What what kind of went into <coughs> that decision? Was that a team decision or is that? A well, right now in exhibition, you know, guys have been different. Guys have been wearing the letters. Um, I think you know, uh, I'm not going to tip my hand either way as to who the captains are, but uh, you you might be on to something. <laughs>